Beneath the surface of the ocean, where sunlight fades into an inky black, lies a world unseen by human eyes for millennia. Down in this alien landscape, evolution takes on a different form. The pressure is crushing, the temperatures are frigid, and the only light comes from creatures that create their own. It is here, in this unforgiving realm, that evolution's fiercest battles unfold. Silent wars between monsters of the deep. So far beneath us, we almost miss them. Today, we're diving into five deep sea battles you won't believe are real. Imagine, if you will, a clash between two leviathans. Thousands of feet below the surface, where the only sound is the creak of the ocean depths. Sperm whales, the largest toothed predators on Earth, embark on epic dives over 3,000 meters into the abyss. These are no ordinary journeys, they are hunts, for down in the blackness, colossal squids wait. Armed with hooked tentacles and giant beaks capable of slicing through steel, these are formidable foes. We've never captured these battles on film, not directly. The depths at which they occur are too great, too dark, too remote. But the evidence is etched onto the very bodies of the whales themselves. Long sucker marks, like hieroglyphs carved into their skin, tell a story of titanic struggle. And in the whales' stomachs, we find the remnants of their prey, the beaks of colossal squids, indigestible testaments to battles won and lost. This isn't just predator versus prey, it's an evolutionary arms race spanning millennia. Each encounter, each scar, each beak, a testament to the power of natural selection, pushing both species to the very limits of their design in the depths of darkness. Not all deep sea battles are fought between giants. Sometimes the most fearsome predators come in small packages. Take, for instance, the unassuming cookie cutter shark, barely the size of a loaf of bread, yet capable of taking on prey many times its size. Its strategy is as audacious as it is effective. Latching onto whales, sharks, and even submarines, the cookie cutter shark carves out perfect circular chunks of flesh, leaving behind wounds that resemble cookie cutter marks. Even the mighty great white shark, apex predator of the shallows, bears the scars of these encounters. How does such a small creature take on such formidable foes? The answer lies in its unique adaptations. Using suction cup lips to latch onto its prey and a razor-lined mouth to carve out its gruesome meal, the cookie cutter shark strikes fast. It's a hit and run strategy, leaving behind craters of damage and a lingering reminder that in the deep sea, size isn't always strength. Sometimes it's about being invisible until the moment you strike. Chapter three, Vampire Squid, Master of Illusion. The deep sea can be a terrifying place. In the crushing darkness, danger lurks around every corner. When faced with a threat, most creatures have two choices, fight or flee. The vampire squid, however, has evolved a third option, illusion. This denizen of the deep, named for its blood red color and webbed arms, may appear fearsome, but it's far from a fearsome predator. In fact, it's quite the opposite. When confronted by predators like the viper fish or the dragon fish, the vampire squid doesn't attack. Instead, it transforms. It inverts itself, pulling its cape-like webbing over its body, creating a spiky defensive ball. If that doesn't deter the attacker, the vampire squid unleashes its secret weapon. From the tips of its arms, it releases a glittering cloud of bioluminescent mucus. This light show, a dazzling explosion in the pitch black, startles and confuses predators, giving the vampire squid time to disappear back into the darkness. It's not strength or speed that saves the vampire squid. It's illusion, a testament to the power of deception in the depths of the ocean. Chapter 4. Deep Sea Eel vs. Viperfish When Hunters Become Hunted in the crushing darkness of the deep sea, where the pressure is immense and the temperatures hover just above freezing, every movement is a risk, a gamble for survival. Down here, light is a precious commodity, 
one that can be both a blessing and a curse. Take, for example, the viperfish, a creature that embodies the duality of light in this alien world. Armed with a fearsome array of teeth and a bioluminescent lure dangling from its lower jaw, the viperfish uses light to attract its prey. It's a deadly game of cat and mouse, played out in slow motion amidst the blackness. But sometimes the tables turn. Deep sea eels, masters of ambush, lie in wait, their sleek bodies invisible against the backdrop of the abyss. They watch, they wait, and when the moment is right, they strike with lightning speed. The viper fish, focused on its prey, often doesn't even see the attack coming. One moment, it's the hunter, the next, the hunted. In this world, battles are over in an instant. There's no second chance when you're living by a flicker of light. Chapter 6, Giant Isopods. Patience in the Abyss. The deep sea is a realm of extremes. It's a place where life has adapted to survive in the most inhospitable conditions on Earth. While speed and agility are undoubtedly advantageous in this world, sometimes the most successful strategy is patience. Enter the giant isopod, an armored scavenger that roams the abyss, a testament to the power of resilience. These creatures, resembling oversized pill bugs, can grow to the size of house cats. They're segmented, bodies covered in a hard exoskeleton. They are the ultimate opportunists, scavenging the ocean floor for any scrap of food they can find. But their patience isn't just about waiting for scraps to fall from above. It's a hunting strategy in itself. Giant isopods are masters of stealth, their movements slow and deliberate, almost imperceptible against the backdrop of the seafloor. They wait for weakness, for a wounded fish, a slow-moving animal, anything they can overpower. And when the opportunity arises, they swarm. Their powerful jaws, designed to crush and tear, make short work of their prey. In a place where food is rare, even survival can look like a slow motion siege. The deep sea, a world of perpetual darkness and crushing pressure, is a testament to the boundless creativity of evolution. Here, survival isn't about who's the biggest or fastest. It's about who evolved to master the darkness. Creatures like the sperm whale, the cookie cutter shark, the vampire squid, and the deep sea eel, and the giant isopod, each with its own unique adaptations, remind us that life finds a way, even in the most extreme environments. And for every battle we know about, for every glimpse into this hidden world, there are countless more waiting in the black, waiting to be discovered. Stay curious, stay current. Like if you want to dive deeper, subscribe to explore the mysteries beneath the waves.